in the flowering of their mature faith. The Hebrews produced what is perhaps, perhaps the most famous palm ever written. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Now the earth was a formless void. There was darkness over the deep and a divine wind sweeping over the waters. God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good and God divided light from darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. Evening came and morning came. The first day. God said, let there be a vault through the middle of the waters to divide the waters in two. And so it was. God made the vault. And it divided the waters above the vault from the waters beneath the vault. God called the vault heaven. Evening came and morning came. The second day, God said, let the waters under heaven come together in a single mass and let dry land appear. And so it was. God called the dry land earth. And the mass of waters seas. And God saw that it was good. God said, let the earth produce vegetation, seed bearing plants, and fruit trees on earth, bearing fruit with their seed inside, each corresponding to its own species. And so it was. The earth produced vegetation, the various kinds of seed bearing plants and fruit trees with seed inside, each corresponding to its own species. God saw that it was good. Evening came and Morning came the third day. God said, Let there be lights in the vaults of heaven to divide day from night, and let them indicate festivals, days, and years. Let them be lights in the vaults of heaven to shine on the earth. And so it was. God made the two great lights the greater light to govern the day, and the lesser light to govern the night and the stars. God put them in the vault of heaven to shine on the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to divide light from darkness. God saw that it was good. Evening came and morning came the fourth day. God said, let the waters be alive with a swarm of living creatures, and let birds swing their ways above the earth across the vault of heaven. And so it was, God creating great sea monsters and all the creatures that glide and teem in the waters in their own species and winged birds in their own species. God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the waters of the seas, and let the birds multiply on land. Evening came, and morning came, Fifth day, God said, Let the earth produce every kind of living creature in its own species cattle, creeping things, wild animals of all kinds. And so it was. God made wild animals of their own species and cattle and theirs and every creature that crawls on the earth in its own species and God saw that it was good. God said, let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves 
and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild animals and all the creatures that creep along the ground. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all the living creatures that move upon the earth. And so it was. God saw all that he had made. And indeed, it was very good. Evening came and morning came the sixth day. Thus heaven and earth were completed in all their 